In this quick tutorial, you will learn how to create a drag and drop activity using H5P in Moodle. You're going to want to start off by adding an activity, scroll down until you see H5P's interactive content and click add. For this video, we are going to be using the drag and drop interactive. You can search for it in the search bar or find it below. For me, it is right at the top, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Once it opens the drag and drop activity, you will want to make sure you give it a title. This will appear on the drag and drop activity itself, so you can add a title or even input instructions here. Now it gives you the option to add a background, but for today's video, I'm going to leave it white so it is clean and clear for the users to look at. Next, go to the task tab. This is where we will start to create the drag and drop interactive. As you can see, there are three tools here we can play with to create our drag and drop. First is add drop zone. This is the tool you use to create the zone you want the user to place the answer or answers. The next tool is text. You can add in text that is either a draggable item or a standstill label. And the last tool is image. Just like text, you can make images either the draggable item or a standstill image. For the purpose of today's video, we are going to make the images the draggable items. I'm going to ask for the users to match what a composite filling looks like and what an amalgam filling looks like. So I'm going to start by clicking on the image and this is where I will upload the image I want. I have saved my images to my desktop for easy access. Next, make sure you give your image an alternative text for accessibility purposes. You can also make the image be able to be a draggable item multiple times, but for this video, I will leave it as one draggable item. Then click done. And now you have an image you can adjust the size, move around and place where you want. I am now going to repeat this process to add in one more image. And I'll just make sure my images are the same size to make it look nice and neat. And I'm going to place them one over the other. So now we have our images that will be our draggable objects. But before we make them draggable, I'm going to add in labels to show where I want my drop zones to be. I'm going to click on the text and type in my two options. So I'm going to type amalgam filling. You can also pick text options like bolding, italicize. You can also make it bigger, change the color, and much more. Now I'm going to click Done and place it. A quick tip to save some time would be to copy the text I just created to make the other text I need. This will keep the text format the same and I just have to double click on it to edit it and change some of the wording. And then click done and save it. And now I have my two labels. And now for the final step, I wanna add drop zones and make my images draggable. So now I'll go to add drop zone and label it. You can show label, but for this activity, I don't want it to show the label. But I do want to make this drop zone only have one correct answer, which would be the composite image and also enable auto align. This just lines up the image in the drop zone when the user drags it. Then I'll click done and adjust. I want to make it the same size as the image. Next, to save time like we did with the text, I'm going to copy and paste the drop zone and go in and change the label and save it. Now we have the layout of our activity. Now it's time to make these items draggable. To do so, click on the image again, and now you'll see it gives select drop zone options. We're going to want to select all because we want the user to be able to drag the draggable item in either zone, then hit done. 
Now you can see it has a border around it. This means it's now a draggable item. And we're going to go ahead and do the same step for the other image. And the very last step is to put in the correct answers for the drop zones. So go ahead and click on the drop zone and you'll see both our draggable elements appear and we wanna select the item that is the correct answer for this zone, which would be composite filling for this one. And then I click done. And we'll do the same for the other drop zone, but this one we will be selecting amalgam as the correct element and click done. And there we have it, our drag and drop activity. You can make a final adjustment on the items before saving. Then there are some behavioral options you can set to your liking, like allowing students to retry, have unlimited times to do the activity, give a point for the whole task, apply penalties, and so much more. And an option I think is useful to add to drag and drop activity is to make sure the drop zones are always highlighted. This makes it easier for the viewer to visibly see where the drop zones are at all times. And now scroll down and save the activity into Moodle. I recommend clicking saving and display so you can see how the activity looks in Moodle and even test it to make sure everything works how you want it. And that is how you create a drag and drop interactive with H5P. If you have any questions, ideas, or want more information on H5P interactives, please feel free to reach out to the hub team at teaching at cambriancollege.ca. Thank you.